A petite delicate woman with French charm and a name in the French manner, Marie Kamal Nakarmisova was born and raised in Almaty in a large intellectual family. Marie Kamal grew up in a deeply intellectual environment, and her family had a huge influence in shaping her aesthetic and moral views, as well as her development as a creative person. In addition to her family, her upbringing was positively influenced by the fact that she grew up in a house of artists on Mira Street, where the best representatives of the creative intelligentsia of the time lived and interacted as neighbors. Right now, we are next to the exact building where Marie Kamalovna was born and raised. Here, in the same place, was instilled memorial board dedicated to her father, Kamal Karmysov. It's pleasant to know that our city keep memory about such distinguished people. Her mother, Kanshi Karmysova, has played a significant role in developing the positive view of the world, extraordinary kindness, wisdom, patience and immense love of life in her children. She inherited her creative abilities from her father, a famous talented actor of theatre and cinema, people's artist of the Kazakh Tsar, and laureate of the state prize Kamal Karmysov. And it's also worth mentioning that one of the most beautiful streets of old part of Amati is named after Karmysov. Her introduction to the French language and culture is owed primarily to her father. He had a great love for French and Italian art. He liked the song Oh Marie and even gave his daughter a name in a foreign manner, as in this song. According to documents, she is Marie, not Maria. Марика Малана всегда была большой поклонницей французского языка. Будучи очень музыкальным человеком, она с удовольствием слушала песни Шарля Азнабура, Досена, Дали, Тратора Дали. Но у меня была подруга в детстве, у которой бабушка была старой петербурженкой. Ее всегда восхищало безупречное произношение Марика Малны. А театр Ауэзова, где работал папа Марика Малны, Камал Кармысов, именно ее попросил перевести на французский язык спектакль Габита Мустрепова «Карагос» для гостей во Франции. Впоследствии, работая очень долго, конечно, в своем университете, она была награждена французским орденом Академическая пальмовая ветвь за пропаганду французского языка в Казахстане, который ей вручал посол Франции в Алмате. For more than 50 years, Marie Kamal's professional career was associated with the Kazakh University of International Relations and World Languages, named after Ablai Khan. Having gone through all the professional and managerial positions in her teaching career, from lecturer, senior lecturer, associate professor, head of the department, to vice rector for educational work, she actively participated in the innovative development of foreign language education in Kazakhstan. The professional career of Professor Karmysova was highly praised and recognized with a number of state awards, and in 2012, the government of France honored her with the prestigious Academic Palms Order for her contribution to the development and promotion of the French language in Kazakhstan. The ambassador of France in Kazakhstan, Jean-Charles Bertonu, presented her with the Academic Palms Order, which is given to people working in the education system, as well as representatives of other countries who have made a significant contribution to the spread of French culture in the world. The amount of her scientific publications exceeds 100 works, including articles, reviews, reports. The most prominent of aforementioned titles are language textbooks Marianne and Universe, and also the monograph devoted to the methodological English development that was written in collaboration with Konenbaeva Selima Sagivna. Marika Malovna, or as we call her in the family, Marika was a deeply loved by French language person, и, на мой взгляд, абсолютно счастливым, потому что нашла свое предназначение и всю жизнь посвятила развитию французского языка в Казахстане. Сейчас я понимаю, насколько она была пропитана духом Франции, от стиля в одежде до философии жизни и привычек. Например, прогуливаясь по городу, ей нравилось присесть на летней террасе и выпить чашечку кофе. Это так по-французски. Я обожаю вспоминать, как мы с ней созванивались и могли говорить часами. Она вспоминала свои годы, проведенные во Франции, но при этом у нее были глубоко патриотичные взгляды, и она всегда пыталась их привить молодежи, и мне в том числе. 
Для меня она навсегда останется огромным примером оптимизма и жизнелюбия. Sagatore 